Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Draft Baseball six box super jumbo. Pick your team number one. I know that this was a little delayed, but here we are on a Wednesday the 5th and we're finally here. We got Evan on the top camera right there. He's gonna help pop that open and uh, pack sack for us to help this break go by a little more quickly. We'll have a little help early on. That way we can try to get as many breaks in as possible. So big thanks to everybody who got into the action here into the six box super. So here's a list once again. I think everyone can see the camera right over there. You'll see him stack boxes up there. I will actually steal a box and get started here. So obviously Super Jumbo, we get five autographs per box. And I think these still come in the, the, the sausage link packs, <laughs> which, I, which I really like. Go. Hey. hey. When you're in the options, um, what, not, how long is every time it's going to I start at 45 and then I'm going to get 30. As you go down the list, as more people get out. So. so I think of these super jumbos, yeah, no paper base ships except for these guys right here. Everything else does inserts, autos, et cetera, et cetera. Nice, Rashid. We should be able to get to that tomorrow. Yeah, this is this is a a super sized break. A lot of paper <laughs> in this, for sure. Evan, when are we getting baseball back? Are they are they talking at all? What have you heard? I heard that they are at a stalemate. And still, still at a stalemate. They are in trouble. But I got faith, to be honest. I think we'll be fine. You think we'll miss? Uh, I think spring training will start a little late, but ultimately we'll we'll make it. You think we'll get 162 in? I do. Okay. They're gonna lose too much money if they don't. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right. You sh this is a super jumbo break, not just a regular jumbo break. This is a super jumbo. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. And you can see all the cards being stacked right there. So that'll that'll help this break go much more quickly. There's Alexander Ramirez for the Angels to 199, and we'll have uh, our shipping team sleeve and top load those before they go out. But just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by those. It's only 120 cards per pack. Only, only 120 cards per pack. <laughs> There's the Blaze Jordan, Blaze Jordan Invicta insert. One per box. You saying Scherzer did an interview for the LA Times? What did, what did he have to say? Henry Davis goes to Mark Bissett and the Pirates. I think he got the Pirates in almost all of our breaks, so I feel like we pulled you some nice autos too. Hopefully some more here. And our first auto is Isaac Pacheco, 28 out of 50. Gold Wave autograph for the Tigers. That's gonna go to Karen P and Detroit. Second round pick, pretty nice. And we've 
got a speckle, Brandon Beck. And our next autograph is Ricky Tideman. Blue Jays, that's gonna be for Steven Rednicki. For to Toronto, there you go Steven. There you go, looks like a third round pick. So he's saying use the usual teams don't want to win line. There's Denzel Clark to 499 for the A's. Ryan G. And Marcelo Myers going to Thomas Fife and the Red Sox. Yeah, the, the economics of, uh, of, of professional sports, it's pretty interesting from like the ownership level. It's like, how, mu how much do owners want to win? A lot of them can just cry poor, but they're still, cry poor in terms of building a championship roster, but then they could still just, still be turning a profit on, the, on a club level with, with the gate and TV deals and whatnot. There's Aurelvis Martinez. 250 purple paper. Yeah, Karen P has been killing it with Detroit. Lots of Karen. We only have two. Karen P and Karen S. Our third autograph is Drew Gray, Cubbies. That goes to John. There you go, John. John Adams, new guy mojo. With the Cubs, I'm glad to say that, happy to say that we, we can actually ship you something. At least one thing, maybe more. You know, you'll get that Kevin Alcantara too. Logan Henderson to 499, Brew Crew. And Colton Kowser will save as well. We could be, what, home of the Karens? We only have two, only two. Maybe if we get like 10, maybe we can make that claim. 65 out of 150, Alexander Ramirez, blue chrome for the Angels, will be for Will. We've got Aaron Zavala for the Rangers, autograph for SKS. That's four autos right there. We'll do an autograph recap, of course, at the end of the video. So if you're watching the replay of this, you can fast forward to the end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with us.
Pack stacking, yeah. Pack stacking. A lot going on today. We got a purple chrome. All right, Calvin DeCastro, 250 for the Bluebirds. Tristan Casas refractor. And there's our fifth autograph. That's Mitch Bratt. 143 out of 150. Going to SKS and the Rangers. Yeah, Nick, we did hit a Super Fractor a couple nights ago. Non-auto Adley Rushman, I believe. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was really nice, actually. All right. So what are we? What, what represents a box? Box, 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 box. Okay, so each row is a box. Yes. Nice. Here's a box right there. Another box right there. Got another box right here. Just one case? All right. Yep, yeah, that's it. All right, good luck, everybody. Awesome. Thank you, no sir. Worries. I'm going to take the box. Great. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks to Evan for helping us out. Yeah. Now we can move through this break a little bit more quickly. Should be slightly ahead of schedule. It's Robert Pawson, purple paper to 250. So we have a nice Invicta auto coming up. And it is Jay Allen. Nice. 19 out of 50. Atomic Refractor Jay Allen autograph. That's pretty sweet. That goes to the Cincinnati Redlegs. That'll be for Mark Bissett. There you go, Mark. It's a cool looking card. It's going to a 100 top loader, maybe? It's a little more comfortable than a 100. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Colton Kowser. And we got a Marco Luciano, 131 out of 250, purple chrome for my rivals, the Giants. That'll be for Ross. And there's our second autograph. That's Ryan Spikes. That's for Anthony and the Tampa Bay Rays.
There's Peter Hubeck for the Dodgers to 499. That'll be for Ryan G. Henry Davis refractor. Got a gold chrome 11 out of 50 West Calf. That's for uh, Jia Chen and the White Sox. And our next autograph is Jose Torres, another red leg for Mark. There you go, third round pick. There's a Sal Freelich, paper to 199, Brew Crew. That goes to Ryan Lind. One of our, some, someone was saying yesterday that he's kind of a, a popular guy in the hobby at the moment. So we have one, two, three. We should expect two more unless unless the boxes were mixed up a little bit. I don't know. At the end, we'll have the proper number of autographs, I'm sure, give or take, on average, as the boxes often say. And there's another Dodger. That's uh, autographed this time, Ben Casparius. 174 out of 250, purple chrome autograph for... My boys in blue, Ryan Gamsey with the Dodgers. There you go. Fifth round pick. It's like a good prospect here. Looks like he went to college, so we may, may see him sooner rather than later. Hopefully. Brox, uh, Selvage, Speckle, and there's our fifth autograph right here, Jordan Lawler, 203 out of 499, refractor autograph for DMAC, Darren, and Darren McKenzie and the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. Sixth overall pick. Next box. Good luck.
There's Shailen Polanco, paper to four ninety nine. Yeah, that was a nice Lawler. The Diamondbacks over the years just, you know, they've been struggling a little bit, but over the years they've they've collected some uh, some high draft picks. So eventually, some of those guys are gonna be coming up and hopefully producing, and that would be that would be good for the hobby. I asked this yesterday, but who are the big rookie names that we're expecting this year? There's Green Speckle, Luis Rodriguez. It's kind of hard to see the number, but you can see the out of 99 right there. It's for the Dodgers. I think Adley Rushman should be a rookie, right? There's Mason Miller. Ryan G with the A's. I think he should have rookie cards this year, right? I don't think he has rookie cards yet. I think Joey Bart's rookie cards, speaking of catchers, I think his rookie cards were already last year. So his so his RC tags are are in 2021 product, but 2022 product should have Adley Rushman as a rookie. Bobby Witt Jr., right? Ooh, are we going to start to see Nolan Gorman? Right, because Dylan Carlson was one of their prospects. We saw his RCs last year. So this year, Nolan Gorman RCs. Is Julio Rodriguez going to have RCs this year? Nice. The uh, Seattle prospect. There he is right here. He's... Personally, I think it was a weird year for rookies last year. So I think there's... there's I'm hoping that there's still going to be some value... Uh, in 2022, there'll still be value in 2021 product where we'll start to see some of these ball players in their second year of playing, and can they can really start to start to blossom? Like I think Wander Franco RCs were last year, right? So I think once he starts, once he gets a full year of playing baseball in 2022. Hopefully, lockout willing, um, then that's going to really increase the value of 2021 product, which I think is going to be really interesting. There's uh, Brendan Beck, 26 out of 99. Because I feel like in 2021, you know, baseball was selling pretty briskly, at least at least for us at jazbeescasebreaks.com. But there wasn't really, didn't seem to be a real serious rookie chase. Not like it was with like Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani in, in, some, in some recent years. Tatis Jr., et cetera, et cetera. But I actually think that's it's probably not a bad thing. That continues to keep 2021 product relevant. Right, yeah. Pandemic did hurt the development of last year's rookies because a lot of them didn't have that minor league season. Maybe they got called up and were essentially playing what would have been their minor league year that they missed in 2020. So there was like a trickle down effect there. So, so we, we may see some, some blossoming a little bit later on. Yeah. Like Kalanick struggled a little bit, right? He was a big name going in, but, but I think he's one of those guys too, that, that should benefit from, from just playing in the majors, struggling in the majors, but playing in the majors and then really getting a chance to shine after his his first year and his RCs were last year too. So I'm hoping we'll see some uh some of last 2021 names start to really emerge in their second years. And then start to see some of the 2022 rookies really blossom too. So if we get all this lockout nonsense figured out sooner rather than later, then I think we might, 
I'm hoping for a really nice year in uh, baseball collecting. At least rookie wise. Especially. There's Landon Marceau for the Angels. That'll be Will Christian with the Halos. Last spot Mojo strikes again. Seventy percent of the time, last spot Mojo hits a hundred percent of the time. There's Noah Miller to one ninety nine for the Twins. That'll be for Ryan Lynn. Bobby Wood Jr. should be an RC this year, right? Should be should be his rookie card this year. Almost 47 out of 150 for the Giants. Blue Chrome for my rivals, the Giants Ross with the Giants. Giants also have a couple of youngsters coming up. Helio Ramos, Luciano, or Zane Mills, Cardinals autograph for Jorge. And the Redbirds. There you go, Jorge, on the board. Yeah, Witt Jr. will definitely be up too, Darren Porter is saying. So one, two, three, four. Should be expecting one more auto out of this box. Another Marcelo Meyer for Boston. Uh, for Thomas Fife. Maybe we'll find some ink for him. In this case, there's uh, Chase McDermott to 499 for Houston. Jared on uh, Jared with that paper card on the board a little bit. We'll find some ink for you too. Five autos a box. Some really good opportunities there. that last autograph and there's a gold lava or yellow lava 38 out of 75 Carson Williams I like these lava refractors they look really sharp and our fifth autograph of this box is Sal Freelick uh, 474 out of 499 brew crew Ryan Lynn with the Brewers apparently he's been he's been hobby hot lately 15th overall pick Number seven prospect, according to Baseball America. Is that his nickname, Lucky Luciano? Wasn't Lucky Luciano like a mobster in the 30s? Like a hitman? box right here. There's Leover Puguero. Pirates have been collecting prospects too. It's another pirate for Mark Bissett. You know, due to their due to their due to their record, so they've been getting some high draft picks, so they may they may be a surprise. Maybe not a surprise, but they may have they may have a lot of youngsters coming up the ranks, which would be good. Freelick is 5'9". Darren saying. It's a good height. 
It's a 5-9 outfielder? Yeah. I guess a little on the smaller side compared to, you know, to compared to big Spencer Torkelson, 6 one two twenty. That's the beauty of baseball. You could pr probably be almost any size in baseball. And you could still be a professional. There's Sal Freelich again. Base autograph this time for Ryan and the Brewers. Yeah, 5'9", 175, bats left, throws right. One of those guys. On base machine. Scrambles defense with speed once he gets aboard. Gap to gap hitter with pop. Sounds good. Russell Smith, blue paper, 004 to 150 for the Brewers. And that's Henry Davis. He's your number one overall pick. Let's see if we can find some ink for him. Darren, did you mention or did someone mention that Torkel or Kevin mentioned Torkelson should be is Torkelson should be up this year? Spencer Torkelson, will he get the the rookie card treatment in 2022 product? There's a uh, Ben Kaderna to 150 for Kansas City. And there he is. I called it. Henry Davis autograph. Base auto for Mark Bissett and the Pirates. He's been buying the Pirates in a lot of our Bowman draft rakes. Thank you, sir. Nice. 6 2 two, ten catcher. Nice. Adley Rushman, Joey Bart, Henry Davis. There's some, there's some good catching prospects coming up the ranks. Is he drafted out of, is he out of college? No, he's undrafted out of high school, but I think he ended up in college. So we may see him sooner rather than later. Darren's thinking what, Torque? Oh, Torque and Julio mid-season call-ups. Is Brendan Davis to 499? For the Cubs. Yeah, it'll be exciting to kind of see some of the some of the bigger names that we've been seeing in all these breaks and all of our group breaks in recent years on jazbeescasebreaks.com and be able to finally see them in action. Like, it was kind of a thrill to see Wander Franco because I feel like Wander Franco, we've been we've been pulling his stuff for for years. It seems like there's Carter Jensen, 103 to 250 purple chrome, and he finally came up and then and then look looks really good. There's Carson Williams, so it seems like the real deal. Anthony with the Rays. Speaking of the Rays. Maybe Wander's, he's playing shortstop, so maybe he moves into second or something like that, but Wander's future teammate, I hope. Henry Davis play at Louisville. Darren Porter saying, cannon for an arm, great power, only real knock is high strikeouts. What's his strikeout rate? I mean, people can argue that Strikeouts are already high, so that might be the norm now. Yeah, 
There's Jordan Walker to 499 for the Cardinals. I mean, these days, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. If you were at like 15 to 20 percent strikeout rate back in the day, people would, that that would just horrify hitters in like the 80s and 90s. You know what I mean? But nowadays, like 20 to 25 percent is acceptable if if you're if you're hitting dingers. We got Brock again, Aqua, Lava, Refractor to 199 for the Yankees. And our fourth autograph here is Spencer uh, Schwellenbach, 43 out of 50. It's a pretty swell card here. Going to the Braves. That'll be for William Smith and the Bravos, the world champs. Colton Kowser and Victor insert. Only a small sample size in minor but he sure got ten times and twenty six at bats. So what's the what's the percentage on that? I can't math in my head. Forty percent? Forty five percent? I guess that's kind of a lot. Even in this day and age. There's our, oh, there's, I don't think I've seen a Marcelo Meyer autograph yet, but there he is. 92 out of 499. That'll be for the Red Sox, Thomas Fife. Nice refractor auto. Fourth overall pick, number one prospect according to MLB.com. Balletic, like ballet, balletic defender who ranges deep into the hole to deny hits. Throws accurately from multiple angles. Smooth swinger with elite hand-eye coordination. Shows power potential. Start at the same California high school that produced Adrian Gonzalez. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like a pretty great case so far. We still have two boxes to go here. So there's one box right there. So here are our final two boxes. Good luck, everybody. Final two boxes coming up. Here's the second to last box, the penultimate box. There's Jordan Viars to 50, gold paper. We got Tanner Allen to 250, purple paper. Teddy is not back yet, Darren. He will. He should be back in a couple of weeks or so. 
He actually checked into the chat last night to say hi. So he, he is he is on the mend. And uh, making his way back from the uh, from the injured reserve list. And we'll have him activated this season. There's Francisco Alvarez, Purple Chrome, to 250. And wow, a Henry Davis Aqua Lava Refractor Autograph, 188 out of 199 for Mark and the Pirates. That's a good looking hit for the number one overall pick. case. We'll do a recap at the end so you can see the see all those hits all at once. And a Genesis Ryan Cusick for the Braves. And we got Connor Norby. Orioles autograph going to um, going to Jeremy Taylor. Maybe, maybe we'll see Colton Cowser autographs in here. There's Po Yu Chen to four ninety nine for the Pirates. Of college hoops on the back. I think we got NBA action on 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 Espen one. Yeah, we can watch a little NBA countdown. Oh, Mavs, Warriors, Mavs tonight. That should be a fun game. In case you're wondering um, what happens to the paper base that we don't ship, we actually collect these into like 100 count boxes. We sell them here to the shop to a lot of the a lot of the kids in the neighborhood and stuff who love this sort of stuff. There's Max Meyer to 150, and then the the money is donated to charity. And obviously it helps with the shipping too. Keeps the shipping costs down for us so we can keep shipping free for everybody. Helps the sorting team too. Doesn't doesn't take as long to sort without the paper. And we've got Sean Burke. 162 out of 250 purple chrome for the White Sox. That's going to go to... That's going to go to Ji Jia Chen. It's our third autograph. Should be expecting a couple more. There's Colton Kowser and Victor.
And Tyler McDonough to 499 is our fourth autograph, Boston. Thomas Five, nice. Got a aqua wave, Owen Kellington to 199 for Mark and the Pirates. And we've got a Jacob Steinmetz, Bowman first autograph. He's been hobby hot lately as well, Darren McKenzie and the Diamondbacks. He is working on possibly becoming the first Orthodox Jew to reach the majors. That'd be pretty cool. Be a little history there. All right, final box coming up. All right, good luck, final box, Super Jumbo, pick your team number one. We've got a pretty packed day today, ladies and gentlemen, so keep an eye on the schedule. We may be a tiny bit ahead of schedule because we should have help for the next break or two, which is a good thing. Here's our first autograph of the final box. Sean Burke, White Sox, Chen. Purple paper, a little color match, Zach Veen. Rockies, that'll be for Brandon and the Rocks. paper we got ND Rodriguez green to 99 one out of 99 and we got another Tyler McDonough autograph for the Red Sox 32 out of 150 Thomas Fife nice one Fife You know, third round pick. Austin Martin to 499. Part of that big trade that sent into Minnesota. That'll be for Ryan and the Twins.
are still looking for three more autos. Should be three more autos on average. There's another one. Austin Love. We love it. That goes to Jorge and the Cardinals, the Redbirds. You know, third round pick. Elvis Martinez, Speckle for the Bluebirds. And the final stack here. Some, do I see some wave coming up here? There's Landon Marceau, Aqua Lava to 199. And we've got a Joe Mack, Return of the Mac 80 out of 199. Aqua Lava Autograph, little color for the Marlins. Kevin M on the board. There you go, Kevin. First rounder, 31st overall. Nice, another another catching prospect in this draft class. There's Torkelson to four ninety nine for Karen. thought about it. wonder how painful it would be to break while hungover. Sounds like a nightmare. Um, yeah, it depends on the kind of hangover. Not, not all hangovers are, are created equal. I think the, the hangover where you're like where you're super sleepy you just want to go back to bed. That, that, that can be kind of a rough one but if you if you're kind of awakeish. It can actually be kind of a kind of a soothing thing. Kind of takes your there's a good rhythm, especially with this jumbo stuff. There's a good rhythm to the uh, from between paper and chrome. You know, it's it's a there's Luke Murphy two fifty. You know, there's not a lot of not too many hits I have to like really call out, so I can just kind of zone out and. I can kind of zone out and just watch these cards flash by. 167 out of 499. That's Eric Sarantola. That's our one, two, three, four, fifth autograph. That's our last autograph. Do I see some red paper there? Ooh. Is that out of five? But yeah, Brady's break, not so bad. And it's for Houston, two out of five, Chase McDermott, red paper. And that is for, that's for Jared and the Houston Astros. There you go, Jared. Happy New Year. And out of five and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go. Now, now we're rooting for him to, uh, to, to be a perennial all-star. Watch the value of that card keep going up. All right, and that, my friends, is that. Any anything I have to do in this break? No, no. Any post? No randomizers to do after this? No, none. Nothing. Just a recap. So, boys and girls, that was 2021 Bowman Draft Baseball Six Box Super Jumbo. We've been working on those eight box jumbos. We finally got the six box jumbos delivered to us. So thanks everyone for getting into it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, nice out of five. 
This, I think overall, a pretty nice break. We got the Steinmetz auto. We got the Henry Davis Aqua Lava autograph. Marcelo Meyer autograph. Another Henry Davis auto. Sal Friel, a couple of those. Some nice color. Jordan Lawler. So on and so forth. Jay Allen and Victa autograph. So, and we started off with some gold wave as well. Really nice break. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was, again, six box super jumbo. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.